Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, like and subscribe, man. And um, follow me on Twitter. I leave the donation for that for fried rice and chicken wings. Now look, man, for a couple of years now, I've been talking about Saudi. I'm talking about Daniel Kinahan, Secret Society. And everybody thought it was a joke at first. Now every goddamn channel talking about the shit I was talking about two years ago. Hey, all good, because the stuff that I noticed was going on, it's just all come to the forefront. So it's right in your face. But with Turkey al right, to me, I personally feel he's nothing but an extension of what Daniel Kinahan started. Is he coming for the number one spot? And what happens to De La Hoya, Frank Warren, Al Heyman, Eddie Hearn, and any other promoter out there who's just kind of barely hanging on. What happens to them? The turkey out sheet decides, you know what? Uh, I don't need you guys. Then where do they go? And is that turkey out sheet's ultimate goal? Now, I, I'm going to tell you this right now. When it comes to Saudi Arabia and Saudi boxing, so much has happened since Turkey al Sheik has come from behind the curtain and decided to get in front of the camera and start talking, especially about his ambitions with boxing. What, you, what you've seen is the entire boxing landscape has been changed and it is continuing to be transformed. And maybe that's because Turkey al Sheik, who's the kingdom's uh, general um, entertainment authority, right? Maybe it's because that guy has endless money. And when you have money like that, why do you need these promoters? Why do you need any of these managers? When you can do it all yourself, all you need to fight is. And if you listen to what Turkey al sheik has been saying, his whole thing is to skip through the promoters, through the managers, and work directly with the fighters. Now, he has been doing that to a certain extent. But I'm telling you, the massive deals that he's continuing to, to want to make, I think is going to get to a point because to where he's not going to even want these promoters involved and this is why these events that are being put on it's my understanding the Riyadh season and even some of these fights that are taking place with AJ and uh, some of these other promoters big big name fighters that shit is being funded by Turkey Al Sheik it, the promoters aren't risking any money that's why the promoters are so happy to have their guys come and, and fight on these cards because they're like shit my guy gets paid, I get paid, and I don't have to put up any money. All the risk is on Turkey al Sheik. Now remember, the promoter, ultimately, his job as the promoter is to put the least amount of money up to increase his profit mar margins. So the least amount of risk for the greatest amount of return. And when you look at the position these promoters are in right now, from what I understand, when Turkey al Sheik is involved with a fight card and their guys are fighting on it, they have zero risk. The only issue is their fighter may lose. But the, the, the financial risk, that's all being accepted by Turkey al Sheik. That's why you watch watching Eddie Hearn, his, his, his excellency, his excellency. Frank Warren, his excellency. Oscar De La Hoya, uh, you know, King, King, King Cooper. The motherfucker don't even know what to call him. You watch some of these fighters don't even know what to call them, dude. Crawford just calls him turkey. That deal with turkey? Turkey. <laughs> Crawford don't give a shit. But anyway, when you have a bottomless pit of money, like Turkey al Sheik, hey, and you have fans that want to see those see certain fights, it's easier to make them and when you can make them, 
you become big in the sport. That's for any sport. And that's what Turkey Al Sheikh right now. It's like I say, once once Turkey's at the table, every day's Thanksgiving. And Turkey Al Sheikh for the last couple of years has been making every big boxing event that he's involved with, he's been making it Thanksgiving for us. These real season cards are crazy. Absolutely crazy. But going forward, he talks about wanting to have a boxing league where he talked about a certain amount of fighters. And it would just be the singular league that he controls. And let me tell you something. If he's able to achieve that, why does he need any other promoter? And if these promoters have fighters, right? And Turkey Al Sheikh says, I'm going to come now because I have this endless, I have this uh, bottomless pit of money. And I'm going to sit here now with my endless ambitions and desires. And I'll buy out your guys out of their contracts. So here you go. You want to be a billionaire? Here. Get out of here. Give me these fighters. You, you want big millions? Here. Now I have the fighters I want to do my own thing. And then what happens to Eddie Hearn? Well, you know De La Hoya's taking the money. What happens to De La Hoya? Nobody really cares. What happens to Frank Warren? And Al Heyman's the only one I think where he won't, Turkey Al Sheet won't, won't be able to get to Al Heyman the way he wants to. But if so, what happens? Because now Turkey Al Sheet would be running everything. He'd have the fighters he wants. He's not going to want every fighter, just certain fighters. Then he can do the matchmaking he wants. Kind of have an iron-fisted approach to things, kind of like Dana White over there in the UFC. This is this is a real, should be a real concern to everybody. He's coming for the number one spot. Anyway, when you take a look and see if fighters are just, promoters are just sitting back saying, hey, eating grapes right now. Whatever Turkey Al Sheik wants, he has a plan. We're just serving in advising capacity. He's putting up the money. No problem. Let me tell you something. If all you have to do is come into a room, sit down at the table, this person has the plan, this person has the money, they have everything, they just ask you a few questions, right? You give your input, they say, okay, thanks for your input, we're going to do what I said anyway. And then you still get paid. There's no skill set required for that shit. You're not valuable. And when I look at this big picture-wise, I'm pulling from my own experience. I think with the more the, 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 the what Turkey Al Sheikh has been doing the last couple of years is just sitting here, man, and gathering information on these guys, seeing just how smart they are, just how much they know about boxing, just how much they know about business, seeing who really understand, who really recognizes what my end goal is, or are they so consumed with money and thinking that I'm a sucker? That they can come in and keep getting money from me and think that it's not going to end. Well, I got a surprise for them. We're in a unique period, but it's going to come to an end very soon. And, and I, I have a feeling that's the direction this is going to go. I watched Oscar De La Hoya come in there and the way he giving the man golden boy jackets and shirts and how everybody is like kissing this man's ass. I'm like, what the, what's going on here? Hey, hey, get him this, hey, get him this. It's like, you think Turk El Sheik isn't used to people trying to kiss his ass? He knows who's genuine and who's not. He's not dumb. But do these promoters know if Turk El Sheik is genuine or not? No, are they smart or are they dumb? See, that's what I'm not, I'm not too sure about when it comes to these promoters. But I'd be wondering, man, I'm telling you that right now. These guys ain't nothing but... I don't know, like glorified agents. That's really what they, with Turkey on the Sheik involved, that's all they are. They, they, what purpose do they serve? I don't know, man. You got to give me a proper justification why in the next couple of years it, there's any need to have Eddie Hearn around, uh, this guy uh, Al Heyman around, Frank Warren, De La Hoya, and all the other little small-time promoters. You, 
you can't give me the proper justification to keep those guys around if Turkey al Sheik is putting up the money and everything else, man. Economically, they don't matter. With Turkey al Sheik, if he wasn't involved, then they wouldn't matter. They would because they'd, they'd be the ones putting up the money. That's why the promoter is important. And he has the upper hand in shit. The, the promoter and the distributor are the ones that were getting paid. Now the big dog here is Turkey out of sheep and the distributor. And these promoters aren't getting what they used to get. If they're fighting on a, if they're working with Turkey out of sheep. All that money, the revenue from sponsorships, the, the site fee, the live gate, the, every, everything. The shit goes to Turkey Al Sheik and it goes to uh, the distributor. So, I don't care what anybody says. I think it's imperative to keep uh, any of these promoters around. The only thing, which is a, a, a make or break type deal, is if the fighters, something happens to the fighters. But other than that, that's it. You look at that big event they just put on in the United States. It was like 40 fighters or some shit. The, the Riyadh season card with Terrence Crawford headlining with Madrimov. Eddie Hearn was out there supposed to be leading the show. It's Turkey out of chic shit. And you know what? Eddie Hearn even admitted he wasn't needed. He wasn't needed. Mm -hmm. These guys are just getting their money. And I think at some point, Tur Turkey out she's going to lock off the supply of money. It's like having a child. Graduate high school, don't want to go to college. Laying around your house in the jockey shorts, writing the name on the orange juice. I'm like, hey, Dad, don't, don't drink out my juice. There's my juice in the refrigerator with my, my name on it. It's like, oh, oh yeah? Okay, it's time to lock your ass off because you're living a good life in here. You 26 now, ain't this shit with yourself. You laying around in your drawers. You talking about, hey, that's my Chick-fil-A in there. Okay. You need to get up out of here. What do you do? You lock them off and put their ass to go up in the middle. Go do something. You can't just sit there and keep letting them get away with these free lunches. And that's exactly what Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren and everybody who's attached to Turkey Al Sheik, De La Hoya, he couldn't wait to get a hold of Turkey Al Sheik. They're getting free lunches. There's no such thing as a free lunch when it comes to basic economics. They teach that shit in college. Micro and macroeconomics, one and two. One thing I pulled out of them two, them two courses, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Everything is goddamn earned or cost something. But we'll see if they can keep it thriving, man. I just I just think Turkey Al Sheik is really, I think boxing will be alive no matter what, but he's really done a lot to, to make sure that pulse is strong. You know what I'm saying? Shows taking place all—I mean, all over the place—and I don't care what you say, I don't care what you what, what what you feel. These strategies and these plans—I mean, just look—it's it, all Turkey on the sheik. Crawford, Canelo, AJ Fury, Usyk, Wilder, and now he's looking at Bam Rodriguez and the other guys. These promoters are just like here, here, Turkey, here, take our fighters. Take here, here you go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here you go. His Excellency. Here, King Cooper. Here, here, sir. As long as I get my little percentage. I don't add any value. That's cool. But I'm getting paid. He going to lock that shit off. Watch. But we're coming for the number one spot. I'm telling you. Don't worry about these budgets. And depths of budgets. Turk out she, I'm sure he has budgets and everything. But it doesn't matter. Trillions of dollars. He doesn't care. They print their own money in Saudi. But I tell you what, man, you know, I'm all for change in the sport of boxing. I'm just not sure. Uh, I'm just not sure these promoters are going to be hanging around too much longer. But then Turkey Al Sheik has bad health. Something's wrong with him. So we'll see how long my boy hangs around, too. Because he could be up shit creek. Anyway, uh,. Yo, shout out to the veterans of all seven continents. Turkey Al Sheik coming from the number one spot, people. Pay attention. 
and these promoters should be sweating because the promoter has always had the upper hand in things because they're the ones that put up the money. And these fighters were, 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 were on their P's and Q's with these promoters. If the promoter decides he doesn't want you, they cut you, you in the breeze, and you got to pray for someone else to pick you up. But now you got Turkey Al Sheik out here to where these promoters don't even matter because he's the one who's like, what, 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 the fights aren't happening because of what, money? I love boxing. I, I think he's terminally ill. That's just my opinion. And I think the king over Saudi Arabia is like, look, uh, whatever, however much longer you have, what do you want to do? Sir, I love boxing. I want to make the biggest fights. Okay, here. Go on and do whatever you want. And I think Turkey Al Sheik is out here, and this is like his playground. Just messing around with boxing and making fights. I mean, I really do believe that. Anyway, we'll see what happens. But if he decides this is the push I want to make, he's already said he doesn't need to talk to promoters. He doesn't need to talk to managers. I'm not making it up. He's been saying this for years. I talk to the fighters. I talk directly to the fighters. He don't want to talk to these goddamn promoters. He don't give a shit about them. That's why they're kissing his ass. Because they don't want him to lock them off. And if he says, hey, if he says, I want Anthony Joshua. And they say, you can't have him. He's in the contract. I want him. I'll give you, what, what is it? How much do you want? Well, we have a $200 million deal we signed in place for the next eight years. No problem. Here's $500 million. Give me Anthony Joshua. You know what Eddie Hearn's going to do? He's going to give up Anthony Joshua. You know why? Because Eddie Hearn said, as a promoter, I look out for my best interest. And the boxers and fighters need to look out for their best interests. And you can't tell me De La Hoya, Frank Warren. I don't know about Al Heyman, though. Al Heyman seemed to be a little bit stubborn. But Eddie Hearn, they all have a price. I think everybody does. And the thing is, it's not going to be too steep for Turkey Alashik <laughs> in the breeze.